Okay, well, uh, Evan just gave me a good idea. Next stream takeover is gonna be a level based game, and each one of you has to complete a level and swap back and forth. That'll be a terrible idea. <laughs> no, I think that would be, and and I'll uh, commentate on it. <laughs> oh, the base. Yeah, no. Freaking awful. How do we turn this thing off? What are you doing? Yeah, you're, you're doing the exact opposite of what I did. I have to say, you're being a bit retarded. But apparently it doesn't matter. Okay. First, first you wreck shop, knock everything off every shelf, every counter, and then uh, scratch up everything you can and take what you want. Like he worked out conveniently, he conveniently worked out how to turn it off, just as um, stands. You got what you needed. I, when I, I'll be honest, when I did it, I felt like I was on a timer, and I was already. As soon as I put it in, I knew it, I knew what it was for, and I yeah. ran back in there, and I ran back in there in time for him to say something, which I don't think you got to hear him say, uh, or text, and then I literally just grabbed it and ran. All right, let's find the next set of stairs. We need to be on floor three. I think it was room five. Well, regardless of numbers and all that, it, it's quite obvious even without the hint. Time. It's very obvious without the hint, but if I recall, I, I was there. It wouldn't work until I found the hint. Right. So I was like, this has got to be it, but okay. So then I went back and ran around, found some more stuff, and then, and then there. Yep. I, it wouldn't allow me to do that. I'm like, that's where it is. Yeah. It's quite a lot of games that do similar sort of things and that, even though you like you know what you need to do, you have to find or see a key item before it will let you um progress any further. Yeah, and that and that's fine with uh games like this. Otherwise you, you just kinda miss out on stuff. Yeah. And and then things won't make any sense, but so yeah, I totally get that. Uh, and there's some of that in the uh, like the hop games, hidden object. Uh, yeah, they're the prime example. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, I could just walk it. out the door, but instead I've got to smash the glass, wrap it in a bit of cloth, cut out the portrait, <laughs> well, shine, don't hurt shine my a light hand. through it so I can see the secret pattern on the floor. Dig it up with um, the trowel I found in the garden. <laughs> yeah, jeez, yeah. Well, you're a sent. Never mind. Who are you? Oh, sorry. Or maybe it's who. Are... What are you? What do you want? Wait. So Balthazar finally decided to send someone. I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. 
How did you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking well, for a way yes, to the outside ever since I left Ant Village. But the Sentinels are always watching. Now, now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. Man, no, it's crazy to think about. Uh, way back when, uh, I had both of my daughters uh, singing on stream. Oh, yeah. And, you, like, Evan and yeah, your kids were just like pooping diapers. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? He's, he's 12, he's still in diapers. What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> you know, the keys oh, stuff. Boy. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know the Necker Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. He's the robot with the bomber jacket and a gold chain. I'll take this message to him. Sure. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing. Don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Stay clear of the Sentinels. Dude, do you remember something now? Yeah, I remember something. Well, I lava lamp them for a minute. It was, um, it was a rumor. Uh, I'm pretty sure I love me. I've meowed more than a hundred times already. Do you have the achievement since uh, I've I've tried to keep that unobviously obvious? Yeah, <laughs> you don't meow enough. You don't meow enough. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, you should have it. No, I haven't. Weirdly, I haven't. But yeah, well, now uh, a certain person, uh, you need to teach him about uh, backseating. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Subtle subtlety doesn't fit in my son's like <laughs> repertoire. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I'm not very subtle myself, so I get it. I dig it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'm very surprised that I haven't right now, to be fair. But Well you really haven't. Because you would have gotten an achievement. Like when I first said it you did it for like maybe like fifteen or twenty and then I mentioned it here and there and you did it for like fifteen or twenty and then then he then he went through multiple stages without ever meowing until I say something about meowing, and then he do it again. <laughs> but then he stopped real quick. So I think I got the the meowing achievement in the very very first part because I was like, oh, you can meow. And my first thought was, that's got to be an achievement. Why would you allow the cat to meow without making it some kind of achievement? <laughs> so, yeah, when I, yeah, I did it in the, not the, before you fall into the underworld, whatever thing. Yeah. Uh, I, once I got in there, I started doing it and just right. kept doing it. I didn't know how many it would take, but I was just sitting there like, not doing nothing, just gonna meow. <laughs> Where did you get that? Oh, you're with the outside, my contact. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. Yeah, he's using the controller. Battery is power in the neck of the factory right there. This whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. Check every person who enters and turn away anyone who is not a worker. Here's an idea. Give me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here and check for a good time to enter. Alright, well, I got you the jacket. Yeah, see, I, I talked to him about that 
based on the storyline before I went and actually got the stuff. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I know where to go for the jacket, but then I got uh, looped, even though it's obvious as well, I'll get out, but yeah. I'd be dealing with a thief right now. What are you talking about? No thief around here. All right, let's go on a helmet hunt. Good news is I've pretty much explored most places here, so we can just kind of walk around, run around a bit more. About my outfit, oh, yeah. it's important for security. Got it from the clothes shop and the hat shop, but I doubt they have your size little one. Where's the hat shop? That was my question. I ran myself around for, I'd say, a good five minutes before I went. Face bump. Yeah. Surgery. It's, uh, it's quite obvious when you actually get to it, but yeah. Hey, I'm trying to talk to you. Beefy. Dude, so I, I, I wanted to talk to you. You turned away, you walked all the way to the end of the yard, and then just uttered the word Fifi. Fifi. <laughs> that was worth it. Look for some company to talk about poetry. I live behind the elevator. Bonobot. Bonobot. Mm. Bonobot probably fits the uh, seediness of that sort of message. Oh, no. They obviously, um, they obviously knew about cats like, before the cat showed up because somebody looked like they've been drawing a cat. Unless well, most of the robots about. didn't, but uh, yeah, I don't. Okay. I, I, I noticed that too because the robots, uh, at least as far as I'm concerned, didn't know what they were. Like they were like, what are you in? They were kind of like, what? Like on the one that was dying, if you can call a robot dying. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking the hairdresser man might be the place. Bob Shop was a social hub where people would gather, tell, talk, tell jokes, and share secrets. It was a fun place. Even after the humans were gone, the companions kept the shop going. Turns out hair is not a nice necessity ingredient for a successful barber shop. I beg to differ. isn't uh, if you're just exchanging heads. Um, that's what I was sort of thinking about. Like, is there a uh, is there a uh, is there a head here that we could get our dude to change with, possibly? Oh, I didn't say that. I know you didn't say that, but that's what I'm thinking. I will let that permeate through your skull. I love the little subtle arrow to try and guide you up to the top there. Yeah, all the arrows are very, very subtle. They have animation. Some are lit up, bright as day. <laughs> have about exactly. 50 of them. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't waste any uh, 
any amount of paint for putting arrows or neon lights or anything else. Couches, pillows, with, dry with air, a... and a bowl of hot oil. Extra quality. Menu of the day for you. Let's rest for Clementine. Continue the search. Understood. No, I don't. I don't have a cat. Uh, I used to. She. Uh... Oh, here's the hat shop. Look. Everything's shop was being new stock. And seeing how competent those two are, it might be a while. Going for ages far. <laughs> okay, I can see what's going on here. Boss is not happy. I stuck off the bar again. I knew the thing kept coming. Uh, yeah, I mean, I used to have a cat and a dog, and uh, they, had, uh, they were awesome. Who's I looking for? Sorry. Um, flash. Goofing off at the bar. Of course he is. Trying to, trying to aim bots, you know. Be on that guy's drink. Oh, he's in the, in the back is absolutely well moved if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, they're gonna check out of that after seeing it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Plus, there's a convenient crate of beer in there now as well. Right, so I guess he's going to now go back to there. This is so. inconvenient. By a lot of more set. This is inconvenient. <laughs> I'm not sure that was the name of the song. I'm sure the song was ironic, wasn't it? Yeah, I was... Okay. I didn't get uh, the joke, sorry. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was... It was a, uh, I wouldn't even call it a joke. More of a... Just a reference to... Yeah. Isn't it ironic? But... As everyone... 
that knows the definition of ironic makes the whole song ironic. Because there was nothing ironic in the song but other than the irony of the whole song itself. Oh, yes. Thousand spins when all you need is a knife. <laughs> it's not ironic. I'm not, I, I never even looked it up, but I'm, I'm going to assume, I mean, assume uh, that the whole song was purposely done iron unironic I make a catch today dude have a good one all right make it have a good one yeah find a work helmet all right we got the helmet excellent someone will do the trick I'll get dressed now mine turning around really <laughs> I don't want to lose the chains. Okay, hold this box and I'll sneak in across the checkpoint. Oh, isn't that ironic? That you're carrying a random freaking box in. Dude, what's in the box? <laughs> There's nothing in the box. And the fact that it clearly says Neko on the side of it means it's not suspicious at all. Yep. <laughs> is, is that what it says? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, flaps open and everything. It's not like it's taped shut. He could just lift the flap and be like, why are you taking a cat inside, dude? <laughs> yeah. Do you even work here? <laughs> Yeah, and then he can, of course, get out of the box and just walk around freely without... Yeah, you know, nobody batters an eyelid. You know, there's security cameras up there, and... There's, there's a cat. There's a cat with electronic equipment on its back that wasn't here before, but... Seems legit to me. Okay. Yeah, this this whole thing I found uh, kind of fun. It wasn't over the top or anything. As long as you paid attention, you were you're fine. Yeah. I mean, like if you just kamikaze it like I normally do, which I did on the first run in a different place. Uh, yeah, I got it. Uh, I, well, I will say this. Not spoilers, but you can get away from after you get detected. Because when you get detected and it turns red, they're, they're all alerted and they're all after you. Okay. I mean... these guys the only thing I like I'm not a big fan of at the minute in this area is the camera angles yeah it's when you... I don't know if it'd be any better. It's, it's not really any better either like using the mouse no it's really hard when... to kind of see what's yeah going when on, you like, when you put your back around. against the wall it kind of but but on I'd say on their defense you don't really need it can stay outside like in that direction and uh, jump out whatever direction you want sort of thing but like if you go inside it backs you up against 
the, the wall, so to speak. Look at you, you tricky kitty kitty. Are you bothered about seeing me or? It's a fuck, I mean, it's a robot. And it's just a, a fix it robot. They don't, they don't care. They're just there to hey, do good thing you're here. You can help me out. I've lost the keys to my place in this dark, huge factory. Pencils refused to help me, but they told me if no if no place to go, more work here. If by any chance you can help me find them, I'll be eternally grateful. Going from left to right by the looks of it. Yeah, the main thing about these is just seeing the patterns. They all they all allow you to see the patterns. Interesting uh, pose, Kitty. <laughs> yeah. Good night. Bye, mate. everything in here there's a purpose to everything but some are teaching some are required kind of but you you know you already know that but Nice here. Just jump over the box and then go. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yo, crazy, what's going on? Yeah, crazy. See, you're doing things the right way. I did, I did things to death with say the right way. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. I didn't give a crap about them. I sped through. And like, there's a box. Jump in it. <laughs> yeah, I pressed, I, I pressed the wrong button there. Oh, I didn't. I just, uh, I hammered it. It's like, look for boxes, look for boxes. There's a box, get in it. No, oh, so back right, off. So that's... Back off your vacation, then. Okay. So it's uh, like 10, you know, yeah, 10.42. Yeah, well, Mark, 
walk, I'm looking at my wall clock, so it's not very accurate, it gets off, but it's, it shows like 10.38, or for me, 5.38, yeah. I know that uh, Germany is five or six hours ahead, depending on what part you're in of me. Okay. Do we maybe need to... I had my subs heading? Well, I haven't changed the thing. Never, uh, as far as YouTube goes, I've never hit anything. Always left off my like likes and dislikes and whatever out there. So I don't know why that happened, but yeah, not surprised. Yeah, I, I never saw him go anywhere to be honest so okay I was thinking that maybe I could have jumped jump down into that garbage This was, I remember, okay. This was a nice little area. Alright, so it looks like they're buttons. Walking around, pushing buttons. Never. And the lever's broke. <laughs> of course it is. Artifacts Monday. Was co creator on this game. Okay. Okay, so we have two of these now. nervous for a start to like stand on these things but I think we'll be alright. The third and final one will be this one. Yeah I, I took way long oh you're yeah, well you're not done but I took ah. Uh, about the same. Yeah. One thing I, I really appreciate that they did with those barrels is they didn't like make stupid directions. Like in other games, it'd be like if you're walking forward, or if you like veer to the left slightly, it would like start moving to the left or right. Whereas those barrels are very much like fixed on like one axis. And well, like, well, well like they, yeah, like they would be in real life. I mean, it, it, if you yeah, had well, a, I mean, like if, if, you, barrel, if you were stood, like stood, if you went stood straight in the barrel, and you were stood like at a bit of an angle, 
um, you, you kind of like start veering to one side because effectively you'd put more, you're putting more force on one side of the barrel. And I've uh, seen games do that before. More, more torque, but uh, okay, I'll talk with, with that with that amount of weight and a, and a typical. I would call that a fifty-five gallon barrel. Uh, if you walk so in Levin, just, uh, just inside, or went to either end and started walking, it, you're not going to change direction. It's it's going to roll based on the the outside shape of the barrel, not not on which direction you're walking. Yeah, you can you can walk at an angle and it'll still go completely straightly straight forward. But yeah, like if you all of a sudden exerted uh, more force on one side, like like a human size one, and took off running, it, it's gonna cause it to turn. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> We got it! Quick, let's get out of here before the Sentinels show up. We've got to get this battery back to Clementine. Looks like we can go out this way. Now okay, solid music starts playing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have to say, I did things. I, I definitely made things way more difficult for myself. I was kind of hoping for an achievement there. I don't know if it's maybe because I triggered the Sentinels into yellow or red, but I did notice that there was an achievement for like a, a stealth one, which um, I yeah. assume would be if we got through that without. Uh... Oh dear. I guess. I don't know if you have to like not get a yellow or a red during that section. I'm not sure. You think the criminal is eyeing a collection of vintage cards? No, I doubt it. Yep, preaching to the choir there, crazy. Yeah, All exactly. this work for nothing. Hey, you think you can stop just hanging out in our digs? You can't steal our spot, but you can you can't you can steal our spot, but you can't steal our moves. <laughs> yeah, look at him get on down. Oh, I'm doing the robot. I wonder if um... even the robot can't do a robot. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see how you attack. Please describe to me the profile of the thief. Well, I say crazy, you're preaching to the choir, dude. I mean, if it's any consolation, they've done exactly the same thing with the uh, Formula One franchise. They've um, bought Codemasters who were behind the development of it and they've just completely EA'd it. Yeah, I mean, Code, Codemasters used to put out great content. Yeah, and then they, they changed like a few years back just to concentrate on like racing games because obviously they do the, um, yeah. like, the dirt yeah. games and stuff, don't they? Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, when I, at this point, when I hear their name, first thing I'll think of is racing games. Yeah. It's like this year's Formula One game is just like, I don't know, they've like started putting like super, like just regular supercars in it, and they've like focused this whole thing where you like create your own house with all these like little sofas and all these other bits it's like dude it's a racing game i want to race i don't want to decorate a flat yeah exactly like seriously like what 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 stop stop with the dumb crap yeah go, go back to like the, the original nfs yeah uh, you know, you know my, my favorite i like the Need underground for, ones my favorite need for speed is course unleashed a hundred percent of that game went through the whole thing, hundred percent everything. I got good, man, and it was satisfying. It was fun to do. It's like okay, uh, 
even though it's such an old game. It, uh, there were there was already other ones out, but I played that one first, and I absolutely stayed on it until I finished every single level. And it was satisfying, especially when you were forced to do manual shifting. Yeah. And of course, that's using a keyboard. So you had to manually shift, but you also had to do uh, 180s, 360s. So you had to shift into reverse, shift into multiple gears, e brake, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, it was so much fun. Yeah, I, that, that's the first. That's the first one I fell in love with, and then, uh, then of course, Need for, Need for Speed, the later Need for Speeds, uh, you know, I got them all, and, and to a point, and then I was like, okay, now you are just being retarded, and you're making it way, way over complicated, like, you, you know, like GTA, I mean, it's, yeah. come on, just, just keep it like it was, have your missions, get there in time and have a time limit whatever i mean you're racing i mean it's it's not like a portal if you put a time limit on something it's aggravating no you literally need to haul ass to to do stuff because we're going to racing game it's all right yeah. um the reason uh the reason I haven't got that achievement is because I've already unlocked it. <laughs> what, the Meowing one? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, surely I've like done like Meow more than a hundred times. And, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I forgot. I think I got that on, my first, on the first <laughs> night of playing, to be fair. Yeah. That's what I said. I, I got it. First thing, I'm like, there's got to be a reason to Meow. Uh, and when I first started playing, I would meow, and then the lights would light up and go in a direction and show you where yeah. to go. So I was like, "Oh, that's what the meows were—a little, a little hint." But that stops. It, it doesn't do it the whole game. It only does it right at first. And yeah. So the whole light sliding up stops and all that, but do you get different reactions from different things? But yeah. And then it dawned on me to just, I just sat there and pressed the button. Like, how many could it be? And bam, there it came up. Boop, achievement unlock. Yeah, one million times. Mm, yeah, not quite, but. <laughs> All right, what? so. You didn't have to meow a million times. Man, I got screwed. So, I'm guessing we need to. Find, oh, you don't have to guess. Uh, we need to fun. find another way here. Yeah, have fun with this. This is fun. So the only place that I know that I can climb up is down this alleyway here, but. Back when we did it before, it didn't really lead to anything. So I wonder if it's now leads to somewhere. Do you rem uh, remember where you came in? I don't remember where I came in. So can you go to it? Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Hold on. Jog my memory. Picked up a battery, didn't I? Oh, I mean, I wasn't... I wasn't trying to give you a clue. Or any of that. I was just... I was just random. Well, she said... Uh, Clementine said she had a key. And I've just found a battery, so... 
putting two and two together and all. Look at you, fancy cat, walking down the the broken oh, escalator, no. which uh, a broken escalator. It's just called stairs. Sorry for the convenience. Mitch Hedberg. Alrighty then. Let's go drive a train. Maybe. Yeah, why not? Cats could do everything. Off my need a key. Oh. Did you get a key? Yeah, no. 